Hello, I'm Yuan Di Li, and welcome to this month's edition of The Hot Plate Extra Helpings. This month, Ali Buzari wrote about how temperature and other factors affect the preparation of stocks and other infusions. He gave us a recipe for chicken stock that we're going to prepare in a few ways and test out on the Chemistry World team. The recipe is pretty simple, consisting of a mixture of vegetables and herbs, and of course, chicken. You could use chicken wings, or you could save money and join to whole chicken. It's a lot easier than it sounds. The chicken and vegetables are put in a pot together with some water. But we put one batch in a pressure cooker, which seals in any gases and reaches a higher temperature. The other we prepared in the traditional manner, simmering in an open pot. Lastly, we made a consomme using a process known as ice filtration. We froze a batch of stock and allowed it to slowly defrost in the fridge over a muslin lined sieve. Now it's time for the testing. Here we are at uh, Royal Society of Chemistry headquarters at Thomas Graham House in Cambridge with the Chemistry World team and we're going to be doing uh, the taste test of, of the stock. Okay, so we've got uh, three preparations of chicken stock here, uh, A, B and C. Give it a go, let me know what you think. So yeah, give it, give it a stir because the fat will obviously come to the top. I, I just ate the fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, why oh, it's good. No, that it's is, kind of that is theoretically the most yeah. flavorful part. It's good stock. <laughs> The fat definitely has the flavour in. I kind of it really has the meaty flavour. So A, it's got quite a dark taste and it's also quite sort of oily in the mouth. It's, it's quite smooth but quite oily. In terms of mouth feel, you Andy, <laughs> uh, I quite enjoyed A. Uh, I enjoyed the flavour, tasted like a typical stock. Uh, chicken, if you will. Yeah, so chicken stock. B is fairly similar, but it's a bit lighter. Okay. It's, yeah, somehow not as dark in taste. I think I might have had a bit less fat on that one. I didn't feel as oily. B wasn't as sold on, uh, had a strange aftertaste to it. And C is really thin in comparison and almost sharp tasting. C tasted like something I'd left at the back of my fridge for a month <laughs> and I'd sort of forgotten about. See, I quite like the taste of sea. I find sea quite fresh. It has, it's, it's quite subtle, but it has all of the kind of chicken, no it has the chicken notes there. It's not as meaty as the others. A was chicken stock cooked in a pressure cooker, so sealed throughout, and um, it re obviously it reaches a higher t uh, boiling point uh, under pressure. So uh, it's a, a pressure cooker will get to about 120 degrees Celsius. And B was cooked the uh, traditional way, which was in an open stock pot left to simmer uh, on the hob. The stock pot uh, with the open top uh, lets out more of the um, volatile aromatics. It could be that um, the higher temperature in the pressure cooker um, means that you get more complex reactions going on with the uh, flavor compounds. The C is basically chicken stock that has been uh, clarified using a process known as ice filtration. So you freeze the chicken stock and then you sit it over a, a muslin lined sieve. A lot of the gelatin remains behind in the sieve. So it will taste a bit thinner, a bit waterier. Okay, so there we go. So we've uh, uh, investigated the uh, effects of temperature and preparation. You know, I've, I've been quite surprised at how, how big a difference it can make. So uh, give it a go. Uh, let us know if you have any thoughts. And uh, from me and the Chemistry World team, thank you very much and uh, see you next month. Mm -hmm.